Well, look, a lot of questions are being asked, not only about the law, but indeed how easily it's going to be to enforce. Dr Hillary is with us, along with the chairman of Hampshire Police Federation, John Apter. Good morning to Good you. Morning. Uh, let's start with that then, John. It's, uh, lots of response from our viewers this morning saying it's about time. It's a shame that it has to come down to this, but if it does stop children having to suffer secondhand smoke, it's great. But how difficult is it going to be to enforce? Well, look, as a dad, uh, I don't smoke, but as a dad, I think this, uh, this legislation is laudable. But the reality is, especially now in the face of such unprecedented cuts to policing, you know, we've lost 17,500 police officer numbers over the last few years, then is it a priority? And what I'm hearing from chief constables around the country is, sadly, it's not. We have to prioritise what we can do. And indeed, locally, I'm asking my own chief constable, what is it that we're no longer going to do? So although this, this legislation is going to raise the profile, um, I really don't think it's going to be enforceable. We spoke to the Deputy Chief Medical Officer a little bit earlier on, and she said, well, actually, it introduces a compulsion for parents. So whether police stop you because you're smoking at the wheel or not, it's sort of a, it's a, sort of a side issue, because it has now become against the law, and it's for parents to sort of opt in themselves. And I just wonder if you send out a message saying, well, we're not going to bother as police, that rather undermines that sense of compulsion. I think police officers will, will be um, educating, as they always do, whether, whether it's road traffic uh, safety, road traffic law, and now you know, we're being dragged into the, into the health debate as well. So I think police officers will educate as part of their normal uh, stop checks on motorists, mm. um, but to specifically target motorists um, who are smoking, um, is just going to drag officers away, an ever-reducing number of officers, away from everything being a priority. It's mm. going to be really difficult for the police. Hilary, we saw in your piece just how dangerous it is and just how much secondary smoke there is for children sitting in the back. What sort of things are we talking about that they can be affected with? Oh, things like meningitis, cot death, cancers, uh, pneumonias, ear infections are all much more common uh, if children are, are regularly exposed to secondhand smoke. Uh, the levels that we measured, even with the window open, were really quite staggering and proves beyond all doubt, scientifically, uh, that it is, there, is no easy, there is no harmless way uh, for children to be in a car riding with a, a, a driver who's smoking or a passenger who's smoking. Mm. Um, so, you know, this is not a load of do-gooders saying, oh, we frown upon that, you shouldn't do it. This is scientific, robust, irrefutable proof that it is really bad with for children. With that in mind then, Hilary, would you like to hear that the police were going to be Oh, your hands tied on, but we're going to be a little bit more enforcing with regards to this law mm. and actually getting people to stop smoking because you know exactly what it's doing. Yeah. To no, I, I think I, I understand completely what John is saying that, that, that um, you know, a £50 fine, an officer's time and, and trouble, it, you know, it's going to be very difficult for them, but they will take the opportunity to say, Do you know, you shouldn't be doing this, this is against the law. Education, I think, is, is really key to, to underline the message that this is an illegal activity, and I think that alone should encourage responsible parents to say, oh, it's illegal, there must be a good reason for that, yeah, I'm going to stop doing it now. It's enforced, though, Tilly, that's the issue. Yes, it's yeah. written down in law, but unless... John, well, I how just... many people have been prosecuted in pubs for, for smoking against the law? Not well, many, because, many, because, because it's happened. Uh, I don't know the figures, but I know it's not a considerable amount, because that you've got other positions, and the licensee could lose their licence, ultimately. Yeah. So there's other consequences. Yeah, which, which have an effect on enforcement, Absolutely. I suppose, that the police don't have to... I just wonder how it compares with the use of mobile phones while people are driving. Well, well mobile phones, I mean, certainly locally, we've given out many thousands of tickets or indeed um, education courses to people who have been using mobile phones. That has become more and more socially unacceptable, although people still do it. Yeah. The problem is uh, that the practicalities of catching people doing it is really difficult. Okay. I would just add, with, with law enforcement, how far do we go? Do we then, we know the problems of smoking and, and, the, and the risk to children. Pregnant women who are outside a pub having a cigarette, do you want police officers to go and give them a ticket? How far does it go? It's got to be social responsibility. Okay. Good to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed, John. Pleasure. Thanks, Hills.